decided to come here. So I came here, it was my first time actually coming here. Um, it was uh, 2018. So before then, my father didn't really grow us up close to our Ghanaian side. And, um, but definitely what brought me here was this land that my great-grandparent, my great-grandfather and great-grandmother once bought from the Achim people. This area was belonging to the Achim. It was not necessarily inhabited. It was, um, a very, it was pretty much all like as you see it here. And it's left like this until people started to get um, attracted by this land. They started to acquire, acquire land here. Yes, in order to do cocoa, but also other different crops. But cocoa has definitely always been the... Yes. So, but then something happened and they moved their road further to right now where it is. Mm -hmm. So, that was the, the main reason. Also, see the village of Mancron is on the main, the core of the village is there. Yeah. Come out by myself anymore. So, together, we started to go down, 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 about to seven meters. Wow. And water was still not there. So, <laughs> at the end, I realized that there was no water. So, the only thing I could do is to make it a water collector so right now it became a tank okay so uh -huh. there's no water coming from the ground so i brought somebody uh, with uh, some sort of machine That's gps deep. that could tell how deep was the water and he told me it was 180 meters so I was like, okay. trials and mistakes of course so a lot of perseverance a lot of determination and this was the main thing so then i spent here six months and after this six months i felt like i needed to kind of get out of here in order to understand what was my call. And then um, I spent some time, I was uh, working in a, uh, a brochure in abroad, trying to gather some foundings in order to come back here and really bring this place to the next level. Now, when it comes to natural development, the money required are less, of course, because most of the resources are coming from the land, if you're willing to do the work uh, like by taking the resources. So you diminish the cost. But of course, labor, sometimes you need to, you know, get the, the feeling that we needed. Yeah. And that's the problem. So also this life is about understanding what you need. And, you know, not say, I, I don't, right now, before I was not to cement, not to everything. But right now I'm like, okay, let me say. See it. So from this, literally this hole that you see, it became this. So oh, literally. That hole? Yes. Actually, okay. it was much less because then we dig more for different woods. That's why it's really? different from the one you see. Yes, yes. This one is the clean one. Uh -huh. yeah. We make a sort of cage yeah. and then we fill everything with mud. Okay. Yeah, we fill it with Inside. it. Ideally, with them. See, this clay here is not ideal for building purposes because okay. um, when you build, you always want to have a good amount of sand. I will show you this one. Eh? So, so now this became the, the, the storage room, but uh, this was originally in my kitchen. So that's what, when I first came, uh, I had a tent over there, and then uh, this over there is the toilet, it's a compost toilet, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what I built in, uh, within a month, and then I started to, you know, just create these things, just in trim for me in order to start doing whatever I needed to do. So now this became a storage room where you see whatever tools I gather during the years, all years and blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. And then over there, there's also a compost toilet. And also this one here is a, is a compost toilet. I will show that to you in case you need to go for a toilet. You can go yeah. that, by the way. And then, and then what's happened? After the house was finished, uh, the toilet also was finished. Then... For some people started to create some um, loose, some toilets that waste less water. So instead of 15 plus liters, it uh, wastes seven. Yes. Still, at every time you flush, seven precious liters yes. of water are gone. It's going, yeah. Seven liters. Seven liters is, is a huge amount of water. Oh, I know. So with this one, of course, you don't need any water, you know? No. And by whatever is the sodas, is coming from, uh, like, there's some people, you know, uh, doing that. fresher room in the whole place because of mm. the thickness of the bag and it's going to be cool isn't it? it's incredibly cool even though it's small but uh, also we place some like holes on the bottom so that, yes i can see you know, that yeah, so yeah fresh air comes in and yeah. hot air goes out yeah, yeah. and so um, And then on top of it, we need to do an extra plastering in order to make sure they will be uh, waterproof. 
Now this one also we sit in on airbags also on this one here. So oh. we dug a lot and then we raised it up with with airbags mm. and then we plaster them with uh, with rocks and cement also. But you mm. see also even with the cement it still leaks. Mm -hmm. So you know yeah. then when it comes to this type is a bit more tricky. So. This one is a, is a roofing that you would do for uh, for iron sheets, you know, kind of flat. Eh? Yes. But um, as for the the bamboo, should be more and more Angled. flat. Ah. And um, Adam, when you go inside, take out your shoes. Eh? Okay. Yeah. And um, as for so the angle is not as steep. Yes. So the what's happening with the bamboo? There's still some gaps in between, the so, which is very good because it allows the air to go out. So it's, mm. the bamboo keeps the room very cool. That's the yeah. beauty. That's mm. why I want to do bamboo. And no iron sheet whatsoever because it keeps the room very cool. Mm -hmm. But it's because it allows air circulation. But also, you know, these gaps create some splashes. When the rain, the heavy rain comes, mm -hmm. it makes splashes, of course. And so if there's a little gap, the splashes can, can go through the gap. And if yeah. that uh, angle is not there, pretty much it would collect the water and let it, dr let yeah. it drop. So then that's why we needed to place a tarp on top uh -huh. in order to, yes. to make it work that way. Yo, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. I think that will do it. Mush it around, innit? Mm. In it. In it. In it. Mm. <laughs> okay, now place a bit more water. On the top bit. Mm. Don't dance, don't dance. 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 do so we have this knowledge deep Within in our genes. So we need more, just place it as you were doing before. Now yeah. it's still there. Uh -huh. Just move more. Just move more. Right, place, place it, place it. Around there, where uh -huh. it's dry. Yes. Sorry. Okay. Have Where's you done some of this before? Oh, yes. Really? Yes, Santi. In She's the backyard, we have the water, the dirt, the clay, and we just... Okay. It's finished, eh? Yeah? Yeah. Now place, place the last bit. Yes. Okay. Now... Now... Come on. Start Those with stepping. Yeah. Let's go. He waited his whole life. He waited his whole life. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the way he jumped up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Adam, come back. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. 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 Oh, correct. It's cutting. Oh, yes. Hey, yes. Now let me show you another way. Adam, come. Thanks Joshua, that was really special, it was a wonderful day. And thank you to all of you for watching all the way to the end. For those interested in volunteering or internship opportunities at Spelmore Institute, please check out the description below.